It's me! Man. Still sick. But slightly better. Except for the fact that I can't taste or smell anything. And I got tested. I'm supposedly COVID free, but sinus infections will fuck up your day. Luckily, I don't have uh, a migraine anymore after suffering. Well, just fuck up my mic there. After suffering uh, five days straight of a migraine, I'm finally migraine free. This shocking is becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely touched me in weeks. What? Whoa! You treat it with some respect and affection. All them out there. Well, this is time for me to come listen to this conversation. Moping and pestering all the damn day. Oh, I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Oh, shut up. Gladly. <laughs> ah, lovers quarrel. Hey, folks. Evening, Arthur. How do you do? Smile. Things could be worse. I'll smile when I got reason to. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Whatever you say. You were coming for me, right, Dutch? Of course, son. Good to see you back up in Adam again. <laughs> of course I was. It <laughs> just fucking walks away. Oh, Dutch, don't ever change. I'm just going to sit here and watch you sleep <laughs> while I eat. That looks very uncomfortable, too, by the way. Sleeping on planks on top of a couple of carpets in the middle of a southern night. Okay, hot as shit, actually. Hello, Arthur. How's things? Those twins who bought the horses are strange, huh? Real strange. And they don't like well, there better be some real money at the end of all this. I'm not much of a storyteller, so uh, forget Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay. I, I I don't have much to say. Life's always confusing me out. I know. Let's speed it up. I have some oh, hay. Sorry, girl. Some hay for Mary Clappins. Yeah, you good, girl? It's the clan rally! Well, there's only one way to deal with this properly. Settle down. Because we are here today for a Damn hooded rogues. I'll kill all you bastards. Any survive? Any survivors? No? 
Alright, what do you pricks got? Oh, meeting notes. Could have killed them. Letter to Pa. Dear Pa, I'm sorry I left the house in such a huff. For what well, I must apologize, but the thing is, you are wrong. No offense. I simply do not care what Jesus or anyone else has says. I am a student of science, and as such, and having read a lot into the subject, I have to assert my position again that commingling between the races is merely wrong, but also dangerous. But to be quite clear, this is not a position but a scientific fact. I have read all the research. Look at the big cats. There are tigers and lions and leopards and things, and they are all different. So that all sort of proves it. The same with trees. There's more than one kind of tree. Or colors. There's red and blue and so forth. So it is with races. Why people like us to dominate and others to do work which they are suited. Oh my god, this is horrible. Oh, this is science. I'm done with school. <laughs> God, it's quote. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> oh, God bless. So dumb. There's a science. I'm done with school. I am sorry about the money you spent, but the place is full of fools. I'm heading out west. I will make my fortune there and prove my theory is correct. Yeah, how well is that going? You're dead on the fucking ground. I am not an arrogant blowhard, as you so really put it, but a man concerned with the saving of the human race. I'm sorry we parted on such terms, but I am afraid I have no patience for fools and to hear you, Mother and Teddy speak. Well, I felt nothing but shame. And y'all educated and white, shame on you. Well, I am a man of destiny and I plan to prove it. Nothing will stand in my way from forming a white utopia for the people just like me. This is the white utopia. Bunch of Ted Clan members. Oh, man. That was horrible, but wow. <laughs> Hilariously ironic. Probably a way I could have done this better too, right? Like, probably should have Molotov them, set them all on fire. Ah, uh, what a bummer. Easy now. Yeah, I'm gonna bring one of them with me. Prove a message, you know. That you dress like this. This happens to you. Ba -ba -ba -da 
Change, change the weapons. Change the weapons. Bruh. Been waiting for you, Arthur. Well, I'm sorry to have. <coughs> Come on, let's get going. What's the plan? At night. We're meeting a couple of the Greys over at the saloon. They spoke to Bill about a job, needing security. After the farce of stealing the horses for them, why are we doing this? Because we need to stay in with them, and they're paying. So what kind of security they want? We're about to find out. Now come on. This seemed legit to you, Bill. Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they bored at their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, uh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaites. Listen, I know these gray boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud. But instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying the Catherine Braithwaite. Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you. No, Sean! What's up, good you game, man? You showed up with the saddest timing. You just lost Sean. Who should I walk in right when he got his mind blown? Yep. Uh, F's in the chat for Sean. Why couldn't it have been Micah? Get out of it. 
this is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? She been anywhere? Ah, uh, no. Shit. Who that folks? This is some damn posse that graze rounded up. We'd have had yeah, to deal with these a lot of people of sooner. Turned out to be sooner. See that? Those cowards running away. Looks like That's my hat. Of, not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. I can put Sheriff the Gray! You need to get a hold on this town. It's going to hell. For the day of the Turks. Day of the Turks. Morgan. Oh no, I uh, I won't be participating because I can't taste anything because my sight is so bad. Yeah. <coughs> How about you? You ready for the day of the Turks? He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy. No, man, I don't like Thanksgiving. Damn. All you do is complain. <coughs> Everyone's like, I better not see out. a single picture when it's your of a plate of food fault. on your you Snapchat don't know story. What you're talking about. You don't give a damn about Thanksgiving. I'm like, you won't see oh, you act so high and mighty, ever. but you're no better than the rest <coughs> of us. I've I ridden with you boys it. close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. You can fight, <coughs> but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Hurry him proper someplace quiet. <coughs> Micah? Just you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. <laughs> Still got the clan member on the fucking horse. <laughs> uh, you missed me take them out the uh, at the clan earlier. Sean has been killed. His head shot half off in an ambush. Still no Confederate gold, but a shitload of trouble. Mm. Yep. <clears throat> I wonder if I can go back in town, though. Ah. Uh, nope, can't do it. It's not murder. It's a dead clan member. Now that, that was murder. dead people in the camp. Why'd my honor go down even lower? <laughs> Bad man Arthur. Where'd he go? We will find the boy. Oh shit. Oh shit, this is the best mission! 
Arthur, have you seen <coughs> that boy, Jack? No. Where's my goddamn son? Where is he? Where's my son? They took him, didn't they? They took my son. Who took him? We think the Braithwaite woman took him. Oh. And Kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like Braithwaite, boy. <coughs> where's my son? If anything, uh, where is my son, Dutch Vandalin? We will find him, we will bring him back to you, and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head. Abigail. You have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's go. Oh, the great ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. <clears throat> Getting our boy... Boy, uh, Jack back. Oh, yeah, we're putting, the, we're putting all the guns on here. I <laughs> get some Dutch. baked beans, get yeah. nice and stanky up on this gunfight. Dead, put them to bed. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until mm. I say so. Oh, no. Uh, I gotta verify the license for the game. Can I save right now? Fifteen minutes. All right, everyone, dismount and come to me. We'll go in all Unless can I can I do it <coughs> without spending the game? Let's see here. I forgot what it's under, goddamn. Ah, oh, yeah, it's gonna close everything. <coughs> Alright, we'll see if we can beat it. First song, now Jack. We should have stayed out of all of this. A bit late for that, ain't it? Quiet. We're going to fix this right now. Like they don't know we're coming. Come on. Let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. <clears throat> Get down here now! You inbred trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. 
We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, <coughs> that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. <coughs> You ain't gonna be civilized about this. Well, let's just watch Arthur take out just about everyone. Thank God we all have plot on.
You want me to kill you too, old woman? You bastards! Where's the boy? We have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problems except by Where kids. is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son! Oh, and I will Damn. surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right, we get her out of here. What about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, I reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here? We saw something with that. You got that one, Arthur? Guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, there was a gun upstairs? Damn. God, I hope it wasn't this field with the Peter, because I could have gotten that for free. I never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole <coughs> my... Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, mister. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. What are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> Only family that she got left is the crazy girl in the out. It's gonna work out, John. It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, um, she, she'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? The boy will be fine, but well, of course Marston's scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble. For nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. <coughs> we made a few hundred bucks. We off get it. that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitor, a solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, <coughs> I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. <coughs> ah, Mr. Morgan. Nice to see you again. And Agent to Ross what do we owe Marston pleasure, there. Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man so in love with greed he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? 
Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off, disappear, and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? Ain't that fine. <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'd be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with... I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. <coughs> You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. This would something just literally end the and game for. and the next How game. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, Peacefully. stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All we just killed of you like 50 will men. die. Run away from this place, you fools! Run! Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. Oh. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days? That's all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, right out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! Oh, please let me save Come you. Come on. <clears throat> John, this is crazy. We'll get packed up, but we need a new spot on. Follow me. I know the way. <laughs> I'm just gonna ride real fast. I gotta do two missions. And <clears throat> 15. Be all right, <sighs> shit, I probably got five minutes left now. Be going to Jack. We will. We have to move everyone first before that bastard Milton comes back with an army. We ain't no use to Jack in jail. We're at the end of a rope. I don't even know what to think no more. Just gotta keep our cool. Be smart about this. Smart? Are you joking? We made too much noise once again. We drew him right to us. I mean, how many people we killed the past few weeks? Far too many. It's Dutch playing his games. Hosea, too. Getting involved with those two families. The master con men working their magic. They thought there was a lot of gold. Yeah, they thought there was money. Ain't there all this yes, Braithway man all burnt down. I don't know what to tell you. Things don't always work out. That ain't nothing new. <coughs> we lost Sean, Mac, Davy, Jenny, and for what? We can't change what's done. We can only move on. But one day, we need to start learning from our mistakes. Come on, it ain't all bad. We've had a rocky run. We'll be okay. We'll get through. <laughs> Dutch will fix it. Dutch will come up with a big plan. Right now, every plan gets us into worse trouble. We're getting further from where we're meant to be going. All right. Should be just down this path to the left here. Now, you can't put all this on Dutch. You're worked up. Rightly so. Don't get too far in your head with all this. You'll never get out. That's it up ahead. Four walls and a roof. We're moving up in the world. You ain't seen inside it yet. Come on. The sooner we get this done, the better. You sure this place is empty? I ain't sure on nothing. It's them again! Boys! Damn it! There's more of them? I'll check the house. 
You keep watch out here. So glad you just threw your gun at me. Because you could have shot me. Any more of you upstairs? I'm coming for you! You hear me? Where are you creeps hiding? Come out where I can shoot you! Oh, I'm gonna be real happy to shoot you up. Some of the coward like you, the bounty hunters, the freedmen, the carpet beggars, the army of criminals <coughs> who stole our land and our government. I survived them all. Our fight will live on. Oh, I was going to shoot it out of his hands. Oh, well. Have a look it up there. Well, I think that's a lot. Didn't even have to shoot the last one. Good. Come help me with this, will you? What are you doing, Arthur? I'm coming. Give me a hand moving these bodies. Don't want the others walking into this. Follow me. All right, this way. We'll dump the bodies in the swamp over there. the bodies. You go meet up at the caravan. Guide them in. And they're all upstairs. We got fine living. Ignore the corpses and the alligators. It's paradise. I love it. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, would you two kindly work your magic? Arthur, take a ride with me. Sure. Come on. George? Yes? Could I have a word with you? <clears throat> Not now. Come on, Arthur. girl all I've got going on and she wants to talk everything okay with you two I got far Again, more important things to worry about right to get now to than safe Molly boy. come on so where are we going to take a look at this eighth wonder of the civilized world San Denis I keep hearing about according to the map the road up this way should lead us right in there all right I 
guess this day ain't over yet. No, it Not sure ain't. Quite. Good work back there, Arthur. Everything went okay? A few loose ends, nothing major. And John? About what you'd expect. He's taking it hard. We're going to get that boy back, whatever it takes. I need you to start asking around in the city for Bronte. Subtly, of course. Public places, maybe start with the saloons. Anyone who can put us in contact with him. Of course. What about the Pinkertons? I'm fairly sure nobody followed us. We moved out fast. We should be safe for a few days here. And then? I think we need to move a little further. Put some ocean between us and all of this. The mess with those two families. Losing Sean. I see things differently now. For a long time, I truly believed a paradise lay somewhere in the West for us. But I just don't know anymore. So we're leaving the country now? Maybe. I'm still thinking about it. Whatever we do, we'll need more money. In any case, we have more pressing matters to attend to first. Okay, there she is. A real city. The future. <laughs> Grand old political statement. Big cities. They're always repellent. Exactly. I'll find you in there. Go see what you can figure out. Yes. Chapter 4, Saint-Denis. Alright, let's save real quick. And then I'm just going to go restore the licenses real quick. tight I'll be back with you in just a moment Wait, Jesus yes that's where it was before Until next few minutes.